Good evening, morning, afternoon, freaks and geeks. This is uh, Reluge. I've got something on my shoulder. Um, and today I'm going to be talking about how I am going to be taking my channel into like a different direction. Uh, keep in mind, I'm still doing video games. That's never going to change. Especially when I'm so behind right now. Anyway, the thing is, uh, as you know, I've had plenty, like a lot of uh, different content on my channel. I've done personal stories. I've reviewed movies, played video games. Uh, I'm going to be taking a slight direction change because I have like a list of uh, movies I want to review. Um, however, I have come to the realization that, that not only am I doing quite a bit, but the movie reviews is not really my interest. Um, I mean, it, it is fun doing movie reviews and I am passionate about like uh more of like a showing people like is is this a good movie why is it good and also there's a lot of stuff that I'm uh I don't share the same viewpoint as other reviewers like with uh majority of the um, Dr. Seuss movies. Like, uh, I actually like the Lorax. I mean, yeah, there's issues in there, but as a whole, I like that movie. I like what they did with it. And, uh, I, I want to explain why I think it's a good movie. Like, the better of the four. But, like I said, reviewing things like this takes time, takes setup, and at this moment, I'd rather have that, put that energy towards investigating the paranormal. Now, I have been heavily passionate about the paranormal. It's not like, ooh, ghosts. I get to, like, experience being haunted. <laughs> I actually want to uh, prove if they exist or not. Uh, and the best way to prove that is to provide with actual legitimate evidence. Like, not faking it, not being like, oh, hey, this is a bug. Uh, I mean, a, light's, uh, a light anomaly. It's, a, it's totally a ghost. I want to not only investigate places myself, but I want to look at other people's investigations and go through and debunk it or show like hey yeah this is weird like I already did a uh, video on an episode from Paranormal State uh, d using one of the episodes that I'm most pissed off with and they actually caught something on camera that they didn't further explore. Um, I'm going to leave the link in the end cards. And I finally got that down to the company accepting that it is, uh, Fair use by cutting down some of the 
uh, segments I had from their episode. I mean, it's like, lesson learned. I did use, like, the entire conversation to show, like, uh, I can't think of words, but I did use, like, the entire, like, section, like, the conversation. Uh, apparently they didn't like that, so I had to constantly cut that down, and now they're finally like, oh, okay, whatever. Um, so... Going forward with that, I'm going to keep that in mind. I'm going to cut down the evidence I used from their video. Thankfully, though, they didn't uh, have me cut out the cold spot or the actual evidence that was caught. So, those were my two biggest points of the whole episode. Anyway, uh... Going forward with that, I plan on taking certain shows, uh, pointing out, like, debunking certain, uh, things, uh, pointing out things that are like, yeah, this is weird, I can't figure out how to, like, debunk it, and also keep in mind, I don't like saying that, uh, it's absolutely 100%, uh, ghost or paranormal or supernatural because uh for one on these their videos you and they are also made for tv to like entertain and shock and all that to keep you on the screen so it's like i know like a lot of the reactions are over exaggerated um but also, there is a possibility that it is it has been faked. So that's why I really want to flush that out. Uh, I would like to go and travel and investigate other places on my own, but I'm not able to do that. So that's why I got to sit here on my big fat butt. Look at all the people that have already gone out and investigated and be like, hmm, that's weird. But, uh, my channel has been very, very spotty of late. Um, both, uh, Corn and I have been dealing with various ailments. But, uh, Corn has taken the brunt of the really scary stuff. Uh, she's doing better now, but she had to deal with a bit of a, a little bit of a liver failure. It's not like the liver's completely failed. It's just like the onset, the beginning stage. And we caught that pretty early. And yeah, be a Karen with the doctor sometimes. That gets that that tends to get results sometimes. <laughs> They're all just like, oh, these tests are a little weird. Heh, oh well. And corn's all like Internet. Check for liver failure. No, nah, it's not liver failure. Check for liver failure. Okay, fine, we'll check we'll shut you up. It's liver failure. <laughs> so And, uh, just recently she had to deal with a, uh, tooth infection. She finally got the tooth removed. Ah, uh, she had to deal with that for two weeks. That's insane. So, uh, again, advocate for brushing your teeth, taking care of your body. Uh, your body does not produce oils or anything to keep your, uh, body clean. If that was the case, then we wouldn't have had to invent showers or soap or shampoo because <laughs> serious i want you to think about it. that oils that your body uh excretes there's a name for that it's called sweat 
and it really doesn't scrub your body. I mean, it, it, it can provide with, like, uh, washing off, like, the top layer of dirt. But there's still this thing called the bacteria that hangs around on your body. And especially if you have folds, like I do. I mean, stuff can get under. You gotta get that washed out. And if you have, like, a, uh, uh, any belly button, um, bacteria can collect in that. And just normal, like, just sitting in the water is not going to work because the water doesn't get all the way in the belly button. And if it does, that it stays there. So you really got to clean that out. Anyway, this is, that, that was a weird turn. Um, so yeah, um, as Hell Freezer likes to say it, take very good care of yourself because the main person that's going to have to take care of you is you. The only person that has to live with you is you. So take care of yourself for yourself. And just stay safe out there. COVID's still uh, going around, not as much as uh, before. And if you've gotten the um, the shots or has caught COVID before, yeah, it's, it's not going to be as hazardous, but you can still catch it. I've heard someone uh, dying from their second... Uh, bout of COVID, so it's it, it's it still is dangerous. Just and not only that, there's other things out there. There's still tuberculosis. Uh I haven't heard many cases of that though. So just keep yourself safe. Continue doing what you do. And most importantly, have fun. <laughs>